What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raiga YouTube channel, and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Taurus sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of April 20th and May 20th, then you are a Taurus sun sign, and this video is for you. Today I wanted to look at the reasons behind worry and stress for all my Taurus friends. You know, we all carry worry and stress, and most of us are uh, unconscious of why we have worry or stress. Maybe some of us are even con unconscious that we have it. And we just accept it as part of life, as just part of being human, is having worry and stress. But that is not the case. You do not have to have worry and stress in your life. And this spread is going to take a look at the reasons behind worry and stress in your life at this time, so that you can possibly make some corrections and try to, to minimize or reduce it as much as possible. So to do that, I'm going to be using the Omega Land Tarot. Uh, this is a post-apocalyptic themed deck. I did a deck review on it if you want to see it somewhere on my channel. Uh, we'll use that for the main question. Then we're going to use the Mortem or uh, Oracle deck to get to the root of the shadow issues behind this. And we're going to be using the Crystal Reading cards to figure out what kind of healing energies are going to help you get through this uh, reason for worry and stress in your life at this time. So uh, that's what we're going to use. If you would, please give me a moment to clean my table and uh, center myself and ask the tarot cards a question. What are the energies surrounding Taurus sun signs? As in regards to worry and stress. Let me rephrase that. What are the reasons for worry and stress in the lives of Taurus sun signs? I got a runner. <laughs> this, this one flew off the table. Uh, we'll just set this aside for now. We'll see what that has to say at the end of the reading. Maybe it'll help tie things together. But yeah, that one flew off the table. That doesn't normally happen. That must be a definite message for us. <laughs> okay. All right. So the reasons behind worry and stress for Taurus. Sun sign. All right, that ought to do it. We shall cut the deck. And we're going to deal out three cards. Very good. Now let's ask the Mortem Oraculum. Uh, what are the shadow issues at play behind this worry and stress in Taurus sun sign? Shadow issues for Taurus. All right. Put that there. And then lastly, crystal reading cards. Uh, what healing... Let's move that there. There we go, so I don't forget it. What healing energies are going to help Taurus sun signs move through worry and stress? What healing energies for Taurus sun signs? All right, <laughs> there we go, we got it done. What we're gonna do is take a look at the Omega Land first, see what it has to say, and then we'll check out the Oracle supporting cards. Uh, the first card we're gonna look at is this one, and it represents the heart of the matter. Basically, the reasons behind worry and stress in the lives of Taurus sun signs. We've got the Six of Wands. Hmm, um... The feeling I'm getting from this card is one where you want to. Uh, what's the what's the best way to I can explain this? Um, wanting to fit into a group is part of it, uh, but I'm getting a little bit of ego here. Want to wanting to prove that you are better than others. Ah, uh, so we got duality problems here. Wanting to prove that you're stronger, you're smarter, you're faster than other people around you. Have been kind of competitive. Is sort of the feeling I'm getting from this card, and and not in a healthy way. There's healthy competition, sure, but there's also like ego-based, like wanting to prove to your ego that you're superior. And uh, I get the feeling that that is a, a a source, maybe not the direct cause, but the, a source for a lot of stress in your life, is is needing to be uh, viewed as better than another person, needing to feel as though that you're better than another person. Um, and this is a general reading, not everything applies, so I do encourage you to look at these images and try to figure out what they mean for you. But I think for a lot of Taurus, 
sun signs, uh, there's this urge to just um, kind of be a leader, maybe, and not necessarily like uh, in the traditional sense, but just uh, not be the the black sheep, right? If you're not the back black sheep, then no one's making fun of us, no one's talking about us. It's better to be kind of in with the crowd, right? And then when we're in with the crowd, then we're with the cool kids, right? And then there's less pressure, there's less stress, but I think that the opposite of tr is true. Trying to fit in with the crowd, trying to, to prove that you're better than others is causing stress, it's causing worry, and it's causing uh, some damage in your, in your life. So that's something that you kind of need to look at towards friends. If, if this resonates with you, if you feel as though you're always trying to prove that you're better than others or tr prove your successes over others, you have to realize that we're all in this together, we're all one and uh, another person's faults are our own faults another person's successes are our own successes and we need to to treat it that way all right let's take a look at the second card which represents what you need to let go of in order for healing to occur and we've got the ace of wands this is a post-apocalyptic theme deck uh, hence the gun here the guns are wands so I think what you need to let go of is, I think there's too much action being taken. I think a lot of your actions uh, revolve around this central issue here, the Six of Wands. A lot of your actions are, are going towards, you know, separating yourself from others rather than going towards, um, you know, joining others. I think a lot of your efforts are going in towards setting yourself apart, making yourself feel different, making yourself, uh, part of that is, you know, assimilating to the other people in your group. So you're having like a counterproductive thing. You're trying to separate yourself apart by, my, by uh, you know, merging into the group, which is definitely not the way to go about it. So this is a very interesting card. And I think what you can do is take a new energy in a new direction. Uh, and this, when I say energy, I mean actions. Take new actions in a new direction. Uh, follow your intuition more so than your ego. That's going to be the first step. The second step is taking action that's it's di different. It's new. Uh, rather than, like if your actions in the past have been to to uh, put someone down, maybe now it's time to lift someone up. Maybe someone who you think is inferior to be needs to be lifted up and celebrated for their positive attributes. And that's going to be a new action, a new direction. Rather than causing separation, rather than seeing yourself as better or worse or different than another person, start to see yourself as that person. Start to have more empathy and start to do things that are more in, in alignment with love and empathy and understanding and oneness and unity rather than duality and separation and, and all those things that possibly have been part of your uh, sphere of consciousness in the past. We're getting deep here, friends, okay? So uh, that's what you can do is, is, is take new action in a new direction, behave differently, follow your intuition rather than your ego. And I think all those things are gonna help you get away from duality, away from trying to prove your worth to other people. Have have worth for yourself, and then people will understand your worth. Not if you're not gonna you're not gonna make them right <laughs> see your worth. Anyway, uh, let's go to this card here. This um, card represents actions you can take to improve your situation. We've got the Page of Wands. Right? This is all wands here. This is all doing. This is all action towards friends. And what you need to do, besides following your intuition, besides, you know, going in a new direction, uh, is go into a new direction. The Page of Wands is someone who's looking for adventure. Someone who wants to go out and, and seek. And uh, I'm getting the feeling of doing this alone. Rather than doing this with a group, uh, you know, remove yourself from the group thinking. Remove yourself from the group mentality and, and start to see yourself as a unique being and start to realize the potential that you have and, and understand your true value. And you can do this by going out on an adventure, challenging yourself. And, you know, when I think of the Page of Wands, I think of someone who's going to go out on an adventure no matter what. Even if there is no group to support them, they are going to go out and have fun and go experience new things. And that's what you need to do. Get away from the group mentality and move towards individuality. 
move towards understanding yourself more i think a part of you is possibly getting lost because you're stuck in a group and you're trying to you know you're trying to be in a group almost like a gang you know you you go to this gang for protection and that that's what like a maybe a group of friends is it's, it's like a prison gang <laughs> all right you're you're scared and alone in this cruel world and uh, you go to these a group of friends who are tr offering you protection but you know if the motives are, of your friends aren't pure now you're you're stabbing people in the shower <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad analogy, but it's the one we got, okay? So you need to get out of that group mentality. You need to get out of that group thinking. You need to stop thinking of yourself as better than others. Uh, and you need to, to start seeing yourself as more of an individual. And that's kind of the gist of this reading. That's what I'm starting to get from this reading. That's causing you worry and stress, trying to fit in with the group, trying to be, be a part of a group, and not really connecting to your inner self as much as you need to. All right, let's move on to the Mortimer column. Uh, we ask what shadow issues are at play here. And we've got initiation. Oh, that's interesting. We got with a bat. And yes, by the way, these are crafted in human blood, in case you weren't aware. Don't worry. Uh, this is a card of independence. This is a card of, of, of having willpower, of taking initiative. And I think that's exactly what we're getting, we're getting here. Yes, bats hang out in groups. But you think of a bat, you think of an individual. He goes, he sleeps with his group for safety, sure. But when it's time to go hunting, when it's time to find food, he goes off on his own. And he has the willpower to go off on his own and not need that group because he's, he's sure of himself. He's sure of his echolocation, his skills. His skills will find him food. He knows this and he doesn't need other people. And I think that's the shadow aspect here is that you're, you're going for this group thing, but um, you're not knowing yourself as well as the bat does. Uh, so initiation here, I think is talking about initiation to the to you to becoming more in tune with who you are So that you don't need a group as much so that you stand out a little bit more. So you're not a face in the crowd as much Okay uh, Lastly we asked the crystal reading cards uh, what healing energies are gonna help you get through this uh, reason for worry and stress in your life And we've got amethyst and meditation. Ooh. Um, you know, amethyst is kind of the premier stone for meditation, for for knowing yourself, and I think that's perfect here. I think the way you're going to know yourself a little bit better is yes, challenging yourself, putting yourself out there, but also uh, going inward and discovering who you are through meditation. Uh, that's the number one way. It's the only way to really know the self truly, is to get into contact with the spiritual realms, with the higher realms. And learn who you are through that process. And yes, going on an adventure will give you more confidence and, and more knowledge of the self. But true understanding of the self is going to come through meditation. It's going to come through that those inward journeys. So uh, if you're drawn to to healing, uh, Amethyst is going to help you at this time. It's going to help you to get more in tune with who you are. And I think that's very important. Very important. So uh, before we go, though, we had this one that just rolled onto the floor. And we've got the Queen of Cups. Be more loving. That's the kind of the, the thing I'm getting from this. Uh, fill yourself with love. Fill yourself with emotions. And, uh, and be gentle about it. And I think that's going to help you a lot. Uh, get out of the ego. I mean, there's so much wands energy here. So much going on that maybe it's time to just cool out and get in touch with your emotions. I think that's what you need right now, Taurus friends, is to cool down, get in touch with your emotions, maybe challenge yourself personally outside of a group situation. And uh, I think you'll find that uh, we're all one and we're all in this together and we all need each other, but at the same time, we all need to be fiercely independent. And by being fiercely independent, you're gonna bring something new to your group of friends and you're going to elevate them and uh, it's not to say that you shouldn't hang out with people you shouldn't try to uh, affiliate with a group but you should really truly focus at this time to remove worry to remove stress from your life you need to focus on yourself and learn about yourself a little bit more Taurus friend okay that's the reading I hope you got something out of it I hope that was enlightening in some way 
Um, remember, this is a general overall reading. Not everything's going to apply to everyone. But if you want a specific reading where I tap into your energies, head on over to my Etsy shop. Link in the description below. You can do this reading if you want. Uh, this would fall under the three card reading. So, so it would be one of the cheaper ones if you wanted to do that. So I'd appreciate it if you go check that out. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It lets me know you, you enjoyed it, got something out of it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these readings. And if you really enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos that I release. All right, Taurus friends, uh, you're going to have to go out on your own a little bit. And it's going to be scary, it's going to be challenging, but overall it's going to be healing. And that's what you need at this time to be more independent and know yourself a little bit more. It's going to reduce worry and stress in your life. So I wish you luck on that, Taurus friends. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy taroting. Peace.